So as promised, this is my first Try Gear Tuesday, uh, uploading on Tuesday. I'm even filming it on Tuesday because, alas, I am behind schedule with the videoing. But today I'm going to talk about one of the best swim accessories or swim pieces of tech that I think you can buy. Without further ado, it is the Polar OH1 Plus. It's this little widget. It's a heart rate monitor. And what it does is it goes on your swim goggles. And I'll just demonstrate here. So there's a little contraption that allows it to connect to your swim goggles and it just reads your heart rate from your temple just around here. I think it's it's a fantastic piece of kit because if you think about swimming and a lot of people really struggle to get into swimming, even just getting into the pool to do the training. It's the one that our clients with entire do the least. It's the one that sometimes people even within the squad uh, struggle to do as well. And the reason that I think it is, is because it's really hard to justify the speeds and the efforts that you're doing. And that's where this comes in, that's where the Polar OH1 Plus comes in. It's able to give you a reference point, just like power and heart rate does on the bike and speed and heart rate does in the run, uh, to your swimming. It gives you that reference, it gives you the kind of the ability to reflect on a session and see the progress over time because if you check your heart rate in comparison to speed in the pool, then you're able to be like, okay, well that heart rate equated to that then and this heart rate equates to that now or that speed for that heart rate, etc, etc. Likewise with power and pace. I think that's the biggest difference uh, for swimming in comparison to cycling and running is that you don't have the ability to compare properly uh, how you've done in the past to how you're doing at present. Maybe it's just me. I quite like to look at the numbers and be like, okay, I can see progress over time and I can see that a month ago I was swimming a lot slower, what, two seconds per hundred slower than I am now. You wouldn't know that without having the reference point of the heart rate. Because you're like, okay, well I swam it at the same heart rate last time as I did this time, but I'm two seconds quicker. Now, there is a caveat to this in terms of nothing to do with the product, but there is a caveat to this in terms of where you're swimming. So you can only really compare pool to pool because what we've done is we swim in two different pools. We swim at Cardiff Met, the Pool of Dreams. It's very hot, it's got high walls. Uh, the lane ropes are okay, but they're not fantastic. And what this means is that it's quite slow. So the pool itself is it's just a slow pool. It's quite wavy, it's hot, so it spikes the heart rate up. Whereas the other pool that we use down Cardiff Bay, the Cardiff International Pool, is, is a lot colder, it's a, it's a lot deeper. It's got uh, proper lane ropes. It's, it's got the swash at the side uh, so that you're not boxed in. And what all this means is that it's a lot faster. So it keeps my heart rate a lot lower. So it means that for the same effort in terms of heart rate effort, what you're putting into the rep means that what you're getting out of it is a fair bit faster for the same sort of lactic level. So this, this heart rate monitor, it does the same things it would on the run and the, and the bike. Yes, you can't see it necessarily whilst you're swimming. And there are like form uh, swim goggles that you can, I think, look at the heart rate whilst you're swimming, for example. Just on like post reflection of the session, it, it's great, it's fantastic. It's, yeah, it does what it needs to do. It records it on the device itself and then you upload it to your uh, training peaks or to your device afterwards with the Polar Flow app, I think it is. I wouldn't not use it now. I use it for every session, whether it's a hard session or an easy session, uh, just like I would uh, whilst running or cycling. Will it improve your swimming? Yes, I think it will improve your swimming if you're able to justify the zones and make sure that you're swimming within the right zones whilst you're doing each session. And yeah, okay, you're not able to look at the heart rate during the session. You can, you have to do it on your phone or on an iPad and you can link it up and it does show real time data. You, obviously you can't whilst you're swimming in the lane. Uh, you have to stop at the end of the pool and check it, which I have done in the past, but it's not like whilst you're doing it. You can just gauge the effort and then monitor afterwards whether or not that effort was too hard or too easy. So yeah, I really think that it can help your swimming. I think it can improve your swimming because it will give you some justification to what you're doing and therefore you'll want to go more, just like 
when you can see improvement, you want to swim, bike or run more because it's always fun to be improving or it's always like satisfying to be improving. It's like how I train the majority of the time. It's all intensity control. And if you can control the intensity or have reference to the intensity that you're doing and make sure that you're doing better next time or doing the same next time, then you can control it more week in, week out. Be sure that it's doing what it's intended to do. So an aerobic swim is aerobic, not tempo, not threshold, uh, and you're, you're getting what you intend to get out of each session. Highly recommend this piece of kit. Check out the link in the description below because I'll make sure that I link it up and you can uh, buy it from there. And finally, if you got value out of this and you enjoy the Tri Gear Tuesdays, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and even hit the bell icon if you did really enjoy it so that you get notified of when I upload next time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.